What's up guys? So the past couple months have been absolutely crazy from moving into the gym, doing all the construction and still maintaining classes at the same time. There's been a lot of stuff going on, but we, we were able to get through it and uh, we probably wouldn't have been able to do it if you know, we didn't have an awesome team around us. So we're extremely thankful for the uh, Pistacachi gym team that we do have. Uh, they're really what, make, what makes this whole thing work. This past summer was probably the most craziest time we've ever had in the history of the gym. We had around like 5,000 people, new people in total, opt in to try out one of our classes, come in to work out. The amount of traffic and people coming through to the gym has just been completely insane. Sometimes where we've had lines out the door. What I love is that I'm able to bring women into the gym, in specifics for our women's only fitness class, Babes and Barbells. Me and my fellow coach, Coach Fernanda, we have brought so many women into the gym, so many women into the fitness industry, and into this gym in itself. Babes and Barbells has grown, but so has this Takachi tribe. You know, we're extremely thankful, and we're, we're, we're thankful to God that he's uh, been able to bless us with the opportunity to, you know, spread the name about our gym, have people come out and uh, see what we're about, try out our, our fitness classes, try out our basketball training, start the conditioning, use the weight room, so we're extremely, extremely thankful for that. As all of that was going on, we've added a couple new things since the last uh, YouTube video that we shot, as far as some new lights, new logo, turf, all that good stuff, so. Here at 5.30 this evening, we have a, uh, a networking mixer slash get together at, at Top Cough down the street. You know, this is something that I wanted to do for all of our gym members. We surpassed over 300 members coming to us so far this summer alone. And I wanted to host this mixer for them where they can come by, play, have food, drinks, just kind of bond with each other. And like I've always said, we are a tribe. It's not just a gym, but we are a tribe. People with all different types of backgrounds, different types of needs, but a tribe sticks together and we all lift each other up. Being able to build this tribe is something that uh, for us as a family, it's what makes life truly worth living. Being able to hang out with people, build relationships, and to be able to give back to our community. So we're extremely thankful for that and um, you know we thank God every day. So we'll see you guys there, 5.30 p.m. at Top Golf. Roma to Brownsville to come and work out at our gym. We've gathered hundreds and hundreds of members and, and it's, it's an absolute blessing. Me and my brother are just really, really excited, really, really blessed. I always say, anyone who's new and comes to our gym, I always say, look, this is a family gym. This is where you can come. You feel comfortable, you feel confident. You're around great people, motivating people, people who want to help you get to where you want to be, whether you're a, a little, a little kid wanting to increase their basketball skills, get better, or if you're an adult wanting to make a difference in your life, you know, our gym is a place for that. I wouldn't be able to do anything if it weren't for our awesome team, my brother, all of our coaches, trainers, and our newest front desk employee, my mom. So she's been, my mom has helped, also helped coordinate all this stuff because I'm not good at it. So she's the best one, but thank you all so much for coming. We come from Native American background, so um, for those of you guys that don't know, the logo uh, of our gym is a, is a photo of our grandfather. And we updated it, when we moved to their new location, we just updated it and gave it some of our biceps. But we come from a Native American background, so our last name uh, is Kikachi, Chalkboard Native American. So we always like to say, um, we're building a tribe. That's what uh, everyone at the gym is, it's part of the tribe. You know, what really makes gyms stand out is not necessarily the amount of equipment that you have or you know, how cool it is in there, or even the photos that you post on uh, social media, but it's the people, the community aspect of it. Everyone here makes the gym what it is. So we're thankful that you guys are here. We appreciate it. Most importantly, what we're trying to do with the gym is we do believe that by pursuing some sort of resistance, that could be in the form of lifting weights or for some of our basketball athletes on the basketball court. If you actively seek resistance, you get to those moments and those times where you think maybe you can't do it or you can't push through. It's those moments where you actually find out who you actually are and you ultimately become the person, the man or woman that God created you to be. The first class that I would like to highlight is for our uh, sports performance class, which is uh, so strength and conditioning for kids 5 to 18. and. This month's tribe member of the month that we'd like to highlight is Jacob Morales, who's over here right there. All right. So 
Yeah. Uh, to, go, to tell you guys a little bit about Jacob, he's been with us for probably about a little bit over a year. Um, Jacob is a boxer, so out of all of us in this room, he could probably beat up all of us. This guy right here. So he's a boxer. He first came to us because uh, he had torn his ACL. This was back when we were in our McAllen location. Uh, and it's been an absolute honor being able to work with him. We call him the silent killer. He's a man of little words, but if you, you know, if you get him agitated, he'll knock you out. So uh, Jacob, we want to thank you for being part of the tribe. And uh, it's been an absolute honor having you uh, work with us. And we can't wait to see uh, the future that uh, God has in store for you. All right. Yeah. All right. And the next person, I was like, man, this kid has been to the gym a whole ton of times this summer. So much that I had to, I had to check his attendance. I was like, guys, you, you're not even gonna believe this. This kid has come in for 70 training sessions in one month. And I'm like, but like, I, I was trying to think, I never thought that someone would actually do that, but, but this kid comes in and he does a great job every single time. Great kid, very coachable. And uh, that's, uh, that's Nate Nathaniel. Where you at, DeLeon? Come over here, man. Coach, you want to say something? Nate is literally one of the hardest working young men I've ever, ever, ever had. He's done some great things. He switched over to Max High and the Olympic Heroes. And uh, his future's right. He's going to play some college basketball. So I'm very proud of you, Nate. Great job. Great job. He came out of nowhere. Um, and then he started showing up every single day, a little bit of basketball, a little bit of lifting weights. So our, gen, like our gym membership, tribe member of the month, we're gonna give it to our guy, Zeke, over here. There it is, Zeke. There it is. There we go. So uh, to, to give you guys a little, bit in, a little bit more, tell you a little bit more about Zeke. Uh, what, what grade are you in? I'm a senior. So he's a senior at PSJ North, North right? And uh, this, this, uh, this guy, this kid, you know, he's a little bit younger, but I'll call you a kid. Uh, I actually always thought he was like in his upper, like mid twenties or something. And I would talk to him like he was like, you know, my, my age. And then I asked him uh, one day how old he was. He let me know he was in high school. And that totally changed everything. So he's become like a little brother to us. And uh, whenever you give him advice, he takes the advice. He immediately does it. One time I had a conversation with him that he needs to work a little bit harder. I looked, I looked behind uh, a couple minutes later and he was there running liners on the basketball court. So we're happy of all the progress that you're having, that you've had and you work extremely hard. So you deserve it, man. Yeah. 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 Connie, Con sorry. Connie won because uh, well, one, she's, uh, her mom signed, signed, signed her up uh, and she's trying to get her health back in order. So she's overcoming different things in her health. And uh, she's in her first month, she's already lost about maybe six pounds. And so we're really proud of her. And She's been doing awesome. I talked to Coach Adonis. I said, hey, Coach, who do you think should win uh, the uh, Youth Basketball Tribe Member of the Month? And without a doubt, he said Zayden Breathhauer, but Zayden is not here. Um, great kid, very quiet, but comes in ready to work. And exactly the type of, type of player that a coach wants to work with, someone who's willing to, to listen, be coachable, work hard, and make improvements. So Zayden, I know you're not here, but we got this for you, and we'll give it to you whenever, uh, whenever we see you. Brandon, here you go, man. There you go, get your back shot. Hey, we gotta give you your prize, Jeff. Yes, sir. I'm here teaching golf with. All righty. Definitely the girls, the babes. The babes. <laughs> I love the environment. I love that it's not just a girl workout. We all become friends. Yes, we're on. <laughs> we're on. We're on. <laughs> but I've met amazing friends. They're more like sisters to me more than anything. So yeah. I love babes. <laughs> I've been here for almost a year. Wow. Yeah. Love it. Love that for you. Yes. My favorite part about the class is at the end when we all come together and put our hands in and say, babe, at the end. Babe? <laughs> what? <laughs> favorite thing about the class is that after we're done, I'm just, you know, ready for the day. I'm ready to get it done. 
thank you card with a the gift card. But the important thing is the note. Look at that note. It's fire. I know. I'm grateful for this. Going in there and it feels like it feels amazing. I, like I feel, I get in there and after this, I, everyone's working hard. That everyone's sweating and stuff. It's like like a real gym. Like you go like different gyms and like. It's just like people like not working at Fisakashi, like everybody's working out. My name is Nathaniel De Leon. I'm, I'm going to Mac High, and I just won the award for uh, advanced basketball training. Uh, Benjamin Marks, no. So right now we're at uh, Channel 5, the local news station, and we're going to do an interview for the gym. We're happy about being able to talk about the gym and everything we have to offer. The unfortunate thing for, uh, <laughs> the un <laughs> the unfortunate thing for myself is that I I'm not too good with Spanish. I know a couple of words. Uh, some of the words that I know are si, gracias, and I know a couple of uh, some cuss words in Spanish as, as well, but I'm not going to say, say those here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so my Spanish is a little bit better. Um, I know a couple more sentences. I know just enough to answer. It's gonna be more of a fun interview. I'm just here for Becca. <laughs> Most of the questions. Good morning. You un poquito There you go. There you go. Bien acompañada de tres hermosura de aquí del Valle que están para platicarnos de un gimnasio muy pero muy especial. Bienvenidos, Joaquín, y los presentas a tus compañeros, por favor. Me llamo Joaquín Pistocachi, soy el dueño de Pistocachi Gym. Estuve aquí con Fernanda, ella es un entrenador en el gym, y mi, mi hermano, Jesse. It was fine, it was cool, I choked several times. Like, I guess whenever I have the mic, I start wanting to talk and talk, and then I realize I'm like, man, I don't know how to say certain words in Spanish. So I just, I was like, here, talk. Y todos juntos. Um, a todos, here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. I was hoping they weren't going to ask me a question, but they did end up asking me a question. How do you feel? Okay. Is, this, uh, is this part of your life being always uh, so fitness? Um, no hablo mucho español, pero... you try and I really appreciate yes. it. Fitness has been part of my life for a long time. We're happy to be able to give something back to the community by pursuing something hard, uh, like working out. You end up reaching your full potential. And when you reach your full potential, you become the man or woman that God ultimately created you to be. I, I didn't, I, I kind of understood what she asked. Um, I do need to get better at my Spanish. That's something I need to work on. But um, overall, it was a good experience. And I, uh, I think my brother and uh, Fernanda handled it, handled it perfectly. Pues, so. para empezar, la disciplina, este, para la salud, para mejorar nuestro estilo de vida, eh, para tratar de encontrar nuestra mejor versión. I mean, it was a little bit awkward in the beginning, but then it just got fluent. It's a fun thing, different, never done it before, so it was cool. But it was a cool experience. We're happy we were able to do it, and um, we're looking forward, you know, to hopefully being able to do more interviews down the, uh, in the future. Not a lot of ways to get money, but we made it happen. Not a lot of ways out the mud, but still we making traction. Lost inside translation, get caught up with the main attraction. We can't stay the same, cause there's not a lot to gain, yeah. Not a lot of ways to get money, but we made it happen. Not a lot of ways out the mud, but still we making traction. Lost inside translation, get caught up with the main attraction. We can't stay the same, cause there's not a lot to gain, yeah. Not a lot of ways to we look up to the future You always complain But these beggars can't be choosers Please hop up on my lane Mixing flows like different juices Quit playing on my name Turn to stone like you Medusa Down on my luck, I was fed up Fake friends getting fed up, set up Hard on the gas, I don't let up Making this me get better up Hard on my head when I'm laying over We cannot talk when I'm taking over I go all in like we playing poker We eat the whip, we got heavy motor Heavy motor Not a lot of ways to get money But we made it happen Not a lot of ways out the mud But still we making traction Lost inside translation Get caught up with the main attraction We can't stay the same Cause there's not a lot to gain yeah. Not a lot of ways to get money But we made it happen Not a lot of ways out the mud But still we making traction Lost inside translation Get caught up with the main attraction We can't stay the same Cause Ay. there's not a lot to gain yeah. Ay. Not a lot of ways, but we still made it happen any time of day. I got homies, they don't switch up on my name. Now they
They just skeletons I'm taking to my grave They'll never be the same, hey. Wait and see Now I'm becoming someone that they're gonna pay to see I'm diving deep, they can't keep up, I'm way ahead of things I try to help them to the shore, but they would rather sink I'm moving up to speed, yeah, yeah I was down on luck, now we finally picking up It got hard for me to trust, now it's Astra in the cut Drink up in my cup, celebrating cause we up I think back to all them days, now we rising like the sun